In this video, we're going to show you a really cool tool for making backups of your virtual machine inside of uh, your Sun server. So first off, we head over to Google and we just type in PHD virtual. And then we go to downloads and select the proper appliance. So if you're running Sensor, you select that one and then sign up for your trial and you will receive an email with your download details. So I have downloaded the appliance and extracted the files. So we're now going to import it through Send Center. And then we're just going to use the default configuration and select to start the appliance when it's ready. You don't need to specify any network settings because it will use your DHCP server to obtain an IP address. So while it's importing, we're going to install the plugin for Send Center. This is very nice because we can manage this uh, backup appliance from Send Center. We just select install and we are going to get an error message because Send Center is running, but we're going to close it because the import was finished. So this tool needs to be installed on all the machines that you're going to use to administrate PHDB virtual. So we start Send Center. You can see the appliance is running. It's based on Ubuntu. So if you go to the console, you will see the active backup jobs. But now first we need to configure the appliance. So we head over to console. Then we're going to specify the correct time zone. And apply the credentials for our Sensova tool. We're going to restart the appliance. And when it's up and running again, we're going to add the storage. I'm going to use one of my NAS devices, so I get external backup, but you could also use a local disk. Once more, reset the appliance, and uh, that's it. So if we head over to the console once more, we're going to take a look at the appliance. As you can see, it states how much free disk space and total backup data. I have this uh, running in my lab for a couple of days. So if we go into jobs and history, you can see the details of the daily backup that I'm running. I receive all the information and the compression ratio of the disk images. There's another cool feature that you can enable so you can access this path as a share, the uh, storage you defined. So if you go into the backups catalog, you will actually find the DHD files the backup creates.
this tool is uh, really amazing. It's uh, really easy to set up. So I would recommend you to, to try it out. You get a 15 day trial. See if it's uh, something for you. So if we want to create a new backup job, I just select backup. Select the server I want to back up. Then select what kind of schedule. If I just want to do a backup now, once, every day, every week, and so on. Um, I'm going to cancel this one and show you another cool trick before we end this video. So if you go into the console, configuration, and email. You can specify that you want to receive an email alert on errors or of everything. So every time there is a backup completed, it will send me an email. And I'm just going to use my, my mail account. And that's it.